people on the go watching me on my show like every time i turn around hey you're that guy that i know Welcome back, y'all, to another episode of the Wadi Talk. First of all, <laughs> I know I've been gone quite a while. I've been on a temporary hiatus or whatnot. However, though, that's the past. We're looking at it now. Um, got a short few announcements and stuff. First things first, um, as many of you can see, I'm back on the tube. I'm sorry, yeah, as many of you, many of you can see, and that keeps scrolling. I'm back on the tube and stuff. So make sure you go to YouTube. You can find this podcast. You can find... Oh, although my show got canceled and stuff, who says you can't enjoy the little short clips and topics that you probably weren't even interested in anyway? But anywho, check me out on YouTube. All you got to do is type in Waddell Richardson. I think the first 50-something videos I posted are up there there however though though check that out subscribe share tell all your friends i say that and i'm the only one promoting myself but whatever though though anywho um today on the wadi talk though i'm glad to be back though because boo i kind of missed it here see listen i was gonna transi- transition i was gonna um i was i was about to make this an audio and a video podcast however i recently got a whole new computer and i have to continue searching for new software so that i can edit my edit my um the videos on again nothing's wrong well my mac charger has a shortage in it so you kind of can't charge it and i'm trying not to use it as much anymore Anymore because of the charger and stuff. Not like I can. I mean, I could just go and get another charger. That ain't no problem. But I've had this happen before and stuff. <clears throat> but before with my uh the first Mac I had, 2016 ago. As soon as I graduated, the Mac decided to go out. It starts out. Those of you that have Macs, I'm about to. T- I'm about to teach you something. Okay, this is how you know your Mac is on its way out. <clears throat> first things first. Your charger is gonna have a shortage in it and eventually not work. <clears throat> That's no, no. I, I tell that bad. I tell that bad. That's the second thing. The first thing is you're gonna get something, some kind of warning that your battery it needs to be replaced or replaced soon or in or replaced now. That's how you know the battery is on its. I mean, the battery will start acting up. Then your charger it gets a shortage in it, in it and eventually not work. After that, you can go get a whole new charger, but be very cautious because it's only a matter of time before the Mac starts glitching. It'll glitch, and then it'll like shut off, and then you got to restart it, and then it does the same thing. It's it's, it's a process and stuff. Listen, your stuff is okay. Macs are very good with their stuff. Stuff. There's a way. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So the glitching. The glitching, it messes up, and then eventually your computer dies. What happened is, is the logic board that's messed up. The logic board, or the motherboard as you all would call it. Apple, they call it logic board. But the motherboard, that's like the brain of the computer. And it's going out. Out. So, yeah, it's on its way out. On its way out. However, though, don't, do not fear. Your stuff is actually saved still. Mac has... A hard drive in it, like all computers. I tell you that all computers have hard drives in it and stuff. So all really all you have to do is take out the hard drive. If you're technical like me, if you're not, get somebody. Call me. I got you. But anywho, your stuff isn't lost. I learned that after I got my whole new computer and stuff. I learned how to take it out and everything like that. That so that was pretty cool. Cool and stuff. So, however, though, the more of those stories, I got a whole new computer and everything. So, yeah, I'm, I have to uh, to work with that and stuff. So, eventually, I'm going to look up. I'm, I'm coming up in this, this world somewhat. 
somewhat still. It's kind of slowed down and everything. But anywho, like that. Yeah, let's go ahead and get into it, though. No. First thing first, my topic for today is being tested in 2019. Now, listen. <clears throat> Since about 2017 and stuff. Still, my life has been going kind of up and down, up and down. Ever since I suffered from the greatest loss ever, my granddaddy, life has been all right. All right and stuff. I mean, it's not the same, but I have like new people in my life that should have been blood family that I care deeply about and stuff. And they've, they've kind of helped my life a lot and stuff. You know, I don't like to go in like my... In, into like you know feelings and everything like that and that I ain't no sentimental person and stuff. But anywho though, though 2018 was cool. 2018 yeah 2018 was alright because of them and stuff. 2017 was horrible. September, April 2017 and after was horrible. However, 2018 was a cool year. Year 2019 was going great up until about May. May. Now listen. Because of the people I'm around now, I've become a more peaceful person. I've kind of loosened up a little bit, <clears throat> bit with like, you know, arguing with the people. Because listen, I'm a daddy and mama's child. Okay, I will argue with you all day long. I have no issue with arguing with you all day long. Now you think I stutter? Now let me be mad. I don't stutter not one bit. I'm talking about I can do a whole book. I can speak a whole, read a whole book if I'm mad without stuttering. That's how, that's how pissed off I got to be. Okay. But anywho, 2019 was going very well up until about, very well-ish. Very well up until about May and stuff. I haven't had to fuss anybody out. Sometime last year I did. <laughs> It did. But anywho, it had been a while since I had to fuss for people out. Because listen, I used to be like fussing people out every day. Every day, every chance I got. I would fuss with cousins. I fuss with aunts, uncles. Fussed at my daddy. Fussed at, fussed at my brother, sister, mom. I fussed at the dog sometimes. No, 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 the dog was all right. She wasn't that bad. But unless she had to go out and I just sat down or something. Yeah, sure. But anywho, though. Man, listen. I was having a peaceful year. I thought, oh, cool. I'm going to do great. Anything like that. Till about May when I had to fuss out one of my, I thought, when I had to fuss out my could have been best friend or might as well been best friend. Yeah, pretty much I had to argue with her and stuff because she can't take no damn joke or whatnot. So she got fussed out. Now we ain't friends no more. That was May. June, I fussed out somebody. First out somebody, probably my stepdad, I don't know, somebody I first first with, I don't know, first with them and stuff. Now everybody, my sister too, that's who it was. She the CEO of getting on my darn nerves. nerves. But anywho though, yeah, yeah, I had to fuss at her. July, I had to fuss at these, these people because, okay, so if you don't know or not, if you don't know and you don't, and you don't care anything about my darn Instagram or anything like that. So I volunteered. <clears throat> At a Galaxy Con, which is like a Comic Con. For those of you that don't know, that's like that's like where you go and meet like famous like artists and voice actors and celebrities. That's a part of something big or whatnot. No, well, anywho, who I went to go this year. This year, the voice of Barney, original voice of Barney, was supposed to be there. Nineteen eighty-seven to two thousands when. He did it. Did it. That's the, he's like the the original voice. The well-known voice. Anywho, though, I went to go and see him. You know, now, if, now, originally, I was going, I was going to, uh, to go meet. I was g- g- going to go and pay for it. But then I realized that you had to pay for, like, the, the, the picture and the autograph, all that mess. So I was like, nah, never mind. Then I kept scrolling, and I saw, and I saw... That you could volunteer and stuff. Stuff. And I was like, okay, cool. Well, and they had like a whole list of things that you could be. So I said, okay, cool. I'm a volunteer as a photographer, which I should have did like an assistant or a wrangler or some crap like that. Yeah. But I said, okay, cool. I'm going to be, I'm going to be, I'm going to be 
the volunteer. And they ask they ask for like the basic your name, address, phone number, all that stuff. And and then they ask for an Instagram too or a portfolio. Evidently they saw they liked what they saw. So these people actually called me and they put me on. I was like, okay, cool, bet. So I done got excited and everything like that. Yeah. So fast forward the time that came and stuff, and I got to meet the voice of Barney. You now before that listen, I specified to these people the reason I wanted to volunteer was only to meet him. And I didn't say and I did say to bump up my like portfolio and stuff. So say I did some of it. Something. Okay. Anywho, who I volunteered. The, okay. Originally, I was going to volunteer for like, I think it was four days. I was going to do Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I might have, I might was going to do all four days. However, my car has had some issues, which some of you know now. Now, has had some issues and stuff. So things happen. And then on top of that, me and the people I care so much about were going to King's Dominion. So, okay, cool. Therefore, I couldn't do Friday because I, I could have did Friday. But parking is hell of a, in freaking Raleigh. So, no, that wasn't going to happen. The parking was bad and I had to get prepared for the trip. And stuff. Saturday was the trip. Sunday, I'm not in Raleigh on the weekends. And stuff, unless I have to be, be or want to be. So pretty much, I was with them the whole weekend and stuff. So these people were a little butt hurt that I couldn't come back, come back, and they thought, okay, here, okay. So here's how it happened and stuff. Those of you that pay uh, that 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 actually pay attention to my to the uh, the stuff I post on Instagram and everything. They can see that you can see that I do these little short, little short rant sister, right? All right, all right. They kind of hilarious. All of them are actually. <laughs> I'd be laughing on them myself. Well, one of the last ones I did were it was about people who swear that I don't have time for them. People swear that I don't have time for them. Them. So. And I'm sitting there like, um, okay, people who, I did that, okay, I said that wrong. People who, okay, so you know, okay, so like fake friends and family and stuff who don't like invite you to anything or swear that you don't have time for them because they see you around a bunch of other people and stuff and they just assume stuff stuff okay basically it was about that and i used them in an ex an example because they looked because they made me like think about it and stuff they made me like think about it because these people were a little butt hurt because i couldn't come back and stuff when i was only there for one or one reason i specified that when i signed up to be a volunteer okay so anywho when I was volunteering there, I met this dude, his name, Tim, Timothy, and stuff, right? Okay. Okay. Tim was cool up to a point, a point and stuff. When I put the video out, out, those of you that, that are actually interested in watching it, go watch it. It's funny. Funny. Anywho, these, I, said, I, said, I said in the video, these people were a little butthurt. I couldn't come back. And I said, cool. Because, listen, I tried to send them pictures and nobody responded. I said, cool. In the video, I said, cool. I'm going to keep my darn pictures with your nerdy tales. Now, GalaxyCon is a very nerdiest event. The nerdiest event ever. Okay? I fit it right in for that day. I am not that much of a nerd. I mean, computer whiz. I know about TV and movies and, so, and you know, songs and music and all that's crap. Crap, but no, that was nothing compared to how these people were looking. Oh, my goodness. Anywho, I met some cool people aside, aside from Tim. So Tim saw the video. He saw the video and he got a little upset and stuff. And he tried to get like... 
disrespectful and stuff. So listen, I've been peaceful. Well, no, I. So May, June, I had to cuss somebody out. July, and I had to cuss him out. Him out. I didn't cuss this time. I fussed him out. I didn't cuss, cuss, but I fussed him out. I know good and well the sun ain't about to come up. It better not come up. Up. Uh, anywho, I done, I done, I fussed him out and stuff. Okay, I was doing really well. He, basically, his argument was I was only there to to meet to meet a star or whatnot, a, a celebrity. A celebrity. I, once again, I clearly specify that in the where you go and sign up at. I specify that. Okay, these people still hiring me. Okay, then this Negro tried to say that I was harassing him and stuff. Harassing him, his agent didn't like want me to come back. First of all, if they would have had an, an issue with it, okay, if they if they would have if they had an issue, then they should have told me. Okay, because apparently these people went behind their back. No, behind behind my back and started telling all this. And apparently, I guess everybody got in trouble or whatnot. First of all, I ain't do a darn thing. When I have, I went back up there three times, okay? Three times, you probably, you're thinking, oh, that's a little bit extreme and stuff. Or like, wow, you was that fascinated and stuff. First of all, I was, but that ain't the reason why I went back. Okay. The first time I went was to go and meet him and give him a piece of artwork I did and stuff. I gave him a piece of artwork and I did that. That Okay, I gave him the artwork. And I went up there, spoke to him. He wanted to take a picture with me because of the artwork. So I didn't have to pay for the picture, which was cool. Cool, because the picture was like 40 bucks, something. Some voice thing was like 10. However, it cost a lot. Uh, so he took a picture with me on his phone and stuff. And I said, cool, Mr. West. So I have to go volunteer. I'll be right back. And I, and then I had brought like some stuff. I brought like a, I brought like some tapes, a, a big poster and a frame I made. And a stuffed animal still in the box. So, you know, I wanted to sh- show him everything. That that was the second time. I went, I went there for the second time and stuff. The third time. Okay, so during the s- second visit, he said... That him and his assistant would would like keep the stuff until until I had came back. You know, being nice. He's a really nice guy and stuff. A really, a really nice guy. <laughs> guy. But anywho, well, I went back there to go and get my mess, and I s- said goodbye. But you know, had like some conversations. I learned. A lot. I try to be all manly and everything, cause y'all was like, "Yo, it's Barney." You know, the kid in me came out, it came out. But you know, I try to be all manly and shake his hand and stuff like that. But that happened, and then he said, "Come here," and he gave me like a hug. It was cool. Okay, I didn't harass the guy whatsoever. Okay, harassing. Harassing would be like me trying to touch him and all that crap and stuff. I know what harassing means, and I ain't do none of that. So I had to fuss him out, tell myself, so, no, I fussed him out, and then the, let me see, the person who was in charge, I fussed him out too because I feel like he sent them or something like that, sent him to tell me some crap like that. That he didn't say anything back either, so he's mad too. I don't care. I could, I could have. I could have, I could have, um, argued because it was a lady there too. And I could have fussed with her too, but I didn't. It it didn't. I said, okay, cool. I'm going to just, I'm going to just, you know, I'm going to just, I'm going to leave it there. However, though, 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 the moral, the point of that, the point of all that was to tell you that y'all better quit testing me in 2019. As you can see, I'm a genuinely kind person, but I got an, another side too. Okay, I got two sides, sides and stuff. I will argue with you all day long, and doggone it, if I'm prone to, I lo- listen. I fight you too. I ain't that. Ca- I'm not. I ain't no punk or nothing like that. Okay, just cause it looked like just cause I'm around a, a bunch of other people, a bunch of kind people and stuff. And you see me smiling, y'all think it's okay to test me? I don't give a damn who you are. Okay. Okay, you want to listen? If you want to test me, go right ahead, head. Because listen, you will mess around and get your feelings hurt. Oh, my mind is a dangerous place to be. 
my mind is dangerous because it'll think of some things that I don't even intend on thinking about. And they just come up and I'll be and I'll be sitting there like, now why would I now why would I think something like that? Now I ain't that kind of person to think about some of the things I think about. About. But doggone it, if you were to make me mad, I got some words for you that I hurt your feelings. Okay? I will hurt your feelings. I do not care. You can attempt to hurt mine. Mine don't get hurt though. I'm just like, okay, so what? It's listen, it's t- 20 billion other people in this world that I can go meet and become friends with. With and stuff. Okay? Y'all been testing me. Those of you that were that went to public school, public school with me and stuff, know that. I fuss too much. I argue too much. Matter of fact, almost everybody know I probably fuss too much. Argue. I'm a daddy's child. That's why that's why I got the name Junior at the end of my name. Nay, one of my ex crushes had a they had an issue with that. That but that's another story. Story. But anywho though, y'all been testing me and doggone it, I would hate to come back. Listen, I'm trying to be this kind person where I say each and every day. Okay? Because why? You really think I like to hurt people? Somewhat. I used to like it. Like it. Then I, I realized, oh, that's wrong. I shouldn't, you know, attempt to hurt people, try to hurt people and stuff. So, you know, I became more kinder. I'm trying to get to heaven. Okay? I want to go to heaven so I go see my granddaddy again. Okay? And I want to see Jesus. If y'all think I was happy that I got to meet the voice of Marnie, wait till I go see Jesus. <laughs> That's going to be more interesting than some darn Barney. I'm be up there, oh, Jesus. <laughs> I mean, I'm just as happy. I walk into heaven screaming, oh, Jesus. <laughs> but anywho, though, I'm trying to get to heaven, okay? So those of, you, those of you that keep on testing me, keep it up, all right? You keep testing me. And watch what's going on. <laughs> Listen, I am mentally prepared. Mentally, I don't know why this is, but I'm mentally prepared to end relationships. I'm talking about friendships, family ships, if that's even a thing. I'll even ruin your relationship if you try me, okay? I'm that kind of person. I might be this handsome guy with these nice eyes, nice eyebrows and stuff, you know, hairline not as receding anymore, but you get the point, point and stuff. So, y'all... Y'all keep testing me, okay? You keep testing me. Me. I got some words for you, okay? Now that we got that straight, I'm pretty sure everybody know what I was talking about, though. That's the end of this today's episode and stuff. I shall return to my podcast and stuff. Audio is just easier at this point. Video, I'm continuing to work on this stuff. I have new videos on YouTube almost every Monday and Thursday, Thursday or Friday. Every Monday, Thursday, and I believe Friday. I got to look back back and stuff. And more content coming to you, too. So, anywho, I hope you all enjoy this episode. If you're offended by anything I say, that's another thing I want to put out, too. Some of you have been a little butthurt because of the things I say on my podcast, my video, my show. So, my Instagram. Some of you have been a little butt hurt. And guess what? You can continue to be butt hurt because I clearly state if you're offended by anything I say, that is your own fault. That means if you're offended by a joke, joke I say, that is none of my business. Okay? If you're offended by anything I say, that's none of my business. Business. If you get hurt by something I say, that's none of my business. None of that is none of my business. All right? Well, that being said and done, um, yeah, that being said and done, thank you for, thank you for tuning in to the Wani Talk. Thank you to my seven fans that continue, my seven fans, and notice I said seven fans that continue to, you know, follow me on Instagram, check out, actually check out my YouTube, actually go and like my videos, actually continue to tune into my podcast and stuff, okay? I hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure you, sh- you know what? I ain't going to waste my time time and stuff. stuff. If you so desire, you may share, tell your friends, tell my friends, tell all our friends and stuff. You can listen to the podcast on on Anchor. You can listen to it on YouTube, Spotify, 
iTunes, uh, Google Podcasts, all all sorts of um, all sorts of um, platforms. Also, those of you that know I rap, my my um my um mixtape, the Essential Wad Dollar Bill is on SoundCloud. Check me out there too. And stuff. That being done and said, I shall catch y'all on the next episode of the Wadi Talk. Right, yo.